Hi guys, so I'm planning a trip up the Rangitata River. Me and a mate of mine are going to walk for five days up, up there backpacking. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the gear that I'm planning on taking. Um, this does include food and I'm probably going to not do much explanation about the equipment. Maybe I might touch on a few things here and there, but I'm not going to go into great detail, de great detail on the gear as I'll do individual videos, just short videos on, on the bits of gear that I'm taking or have got. Um, another thing I want to say is I'm not an expert. Like Everyone takes different shit. I'm not telling you this is what you need to take. I'm, I'm saying this is what I'm planning on taking. Um, everyone likes different stuff. Everyone takes gear differently. So anyway, this is what I'm going to take. So I'll start off with um, the gear that I'm going to wear. So, Sitka lightweight hoodie is going to be my base layer for, for the five days. Oh, put that over there. <clears throat> Depending on the temperature when we, when we leave the truck, um, I'm going to wear the Sitka ambient hoodie. Um, I've done a video about this, there's a great bit of gear. Um, so, yeah. For, for longs, for pants, um, I'm recently convert to wearing, convert to wearing pants. Um, I'm going to be wearing the Sitka Mountain Pants. Um, relatively new to my collection, but should be good. Gator wise, just um, Kuyu Stormfront Gators, I think they're called. Um, these are brand new, so hopefully they hold up, but we'll see. Right, what else have we got? A couple walking poles. If you don't use walking poles, try it. Yeah, self-explanatory. Boots, um, where my Kuyu scarp is. I've had these a couple years. I've seen a few miles, but um, this will probably be one of the last big trips I do in them. <coughs> Um, Bono harness. I've had this not too long. This is a um, marsupial gear Bono harness. Um, great harness. Holds everything I want to. I'll do a separate video on this at some point. It's a um, great bit of kit. Right. Made a bit, bit of room here, so just get the. Um, Essentials going on. Ugh. Right, pack. I'm going to take my Mystery Ranch Metcalf. Um, yeah, I'm taking this because it, it carries heavy loads quite well. Um, and if I've got to carry skin out of where we're going, um, I'm going to be walking, going to be carrying a heavy load. Right. So, that's what I'm wearing, that's my pack. Um, have some Sitka Ascent gloves, I think they are. Pretty much just to keep my poor little fingers cold, my fingers warm. Um, yeah, hopefully they'll be warm enough just to wear most of the time. Right, so the rest of the stuff's going in my, in my pack. Um, and I'll... Yeah, go through and pack it as I would. So this here is the Arab Neutrino Pro 500, I think it is. Uh, it's, yeah, it's good, light, warm, all the things you want in a sleeping bag. Um, once again, I'm going to do individual videos on most of this gear, so I won't go into too much detail. Um, oh, I'm taking my Kuyu Mountain Star. Not sure what sort of weather we're going to be um, getting into, but I'd rather have my bigger tent um, so I'm a bit warmer and more protected if we have a couple of storms come through. So that's my logic for taking the, the heavier tent. <laughs> right, um, I have a just a Cedar Summit pillow. I like to be comfortable, 
stuff there down there. Also have a Cedar Summit insulated um, sleeping mat. As we're getting kind of looking like we're going to be getting some really cold temperatures, I'm, I'm definitely packing my heavier warmer here. So, and as a part of that, <clears throat> I have my Kuyu. What is it? It's a Kuyu Pro Super Down Puffer and Kuyu Ultra Puffer Leggings um, in a waterproof, in a dry bag because if I fall in a river, I want the important stuff that's going to keep me alive to be warm. So, that can go down the bottom there. Um, running on the dry bag theme, this is a Kuyu Zip Dry Bag and this has Kuyu. 200 ultra uh, merino leg long johns and a 145 hooded top in there as well as a spare pair of socks and some merino undies. Um, once again, dry bag, keep it dry, keep it you know, ready to go if I get wet and cold. Right, what else we got? Sorry. That's my room. This is a, another dry bag on the same theme. And this is what the Americans would refer to as a kill kit. Um, it's got a game meat bag, um, sharpener, steel, a few scalpel blades and all those small scalpel knives for heat skinning. So, I can just go on there. This here is my cooking kit. So in here there's, um, I have a water bladder. Uh, MSR wind burner. I've got some salt, pepper, knife, fire lighter in there, a little plate, Cedar Summit plate, bowl, and titanium mug, toothbrush, utensils, etc., gas, stuff like that. All in this little bag. Um, these are Mystery Ranch Zoe cubes, good for organising the gear. Right. So that's pretty much all I'm going to put in the main compartment, apart from um, my food, which will go in this Zoid bag here, um, which I'm still waiting for my dehydrated meals to turn up from um, Radix. So that can go in there. In my top pockets, I have a med kit. Um, Self-explanatory, few emergency items in there, blanket, compass, mirror, a few, you know, light med kit, fire starters, stuff like that in there. So that goes to the top. I also have a zip dry bag. This has got like a few batteries, battery banks. It's got um, another battery for my MH8, lead leads at MH8 headlamp. Um, a little lantern, one of those little ML6 lanterns, ML4 lanterns, a few cables, etc, etc. Nothing too, too exciting. Ooh, that in there. Also got a um, ammo holder with 10 rounds for my 28 Nosler. That'll go in there. And I have some, um, I think these are the mountain, Sitka mountain gloves. I wanted something a bit heavier to go over top of my lightweight ones for when I'm glassing or whether. I got soft little office hands nowadays, cold fingers, don't want that. Right. Getting the meat and potatoes of this stuff. Oh shit. Um I don't often carry a full set of rain gear. I'm definitely more of just a um, take a rain jacket kind of guy. But I recently got some leggings for this trip um, due to the fact, once again, we're expecting some cold temperatures and I want to do everything I can to stay dry and warm. So I bought the Sitka Dew Point pants. They can go in here. They weigh practically nothing. They're not practically nothing. 300 grams, I think. And um, that's the Sitka Dew Point jacket, which I'll do another small video on at some point. Stuff that in there. Right. 
Now I have the seat, Thermo SD seat, as I've seen a few miles. Um, they're just handy to have. I quite like, often like sitting this just outside the door of my um, tent so I don't drag mud into my tent. So yeah, it's a great thing to have. And last thing on the table is my Nalgene bottle. There's a litre Nalgene. Um, yeah, pretty basic. Easy, got some tape wrap around it for um, if I start getting blisters or anything like that, I can put that on my feet and we can go from there. All right, and I have the trusty scales here. So I'll give this bag away and see what it does, see what it weighs. Bearing in mind this is um, before food, so probably looking at another five kilos of food and then my rifle again on top of this. So. And that weighs 11.2 kilos. So that's not too bad. Um, oh, actually, I am going to add something to that while I'm here. Ice axe. Um, hopefully, won't need it, but I will throw it in there and I'm going to take it. Um, winter up marine tartar. I don't know what I'm going to get into. Like a condom, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, right? So, I'll weigh that again. It's 11.7. So, it's not too bad. And, um, yeah. If there's any specific gear that you want to see, let me know. Um, I'll probably do another video with what I really liked and what I didn't like and what I used and what I didn't use on the trip. But, yeah, so, yeah, if there's any gear that you want to see, let me know. Um, I'm slowly going to work through it all and, and get some videos out, but it might take me some time to do because I've got a shitload of gear here. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Cheers.